Hello, my name is Charlie. I'm a senior technician here at Diamond Multimedia, and I'm here to present to you our 6770 card series. Now here we have three of our 6770s. They all have uh, 850 uh, megahertz of GPU. They all run on one gigabyte of GDDR5 RAM. The only difference here is the connections that these cards have. This one has a VGA, DVI, and HDMI port. Now this one will support two monitors. It will not support our iFinity. In order to go ahead and to use iFinity with the 6770, you'd have to get one of these, which has two DVIs, HDMI, and a display port. To use iFinity, you would need a display port connection and an active display port adapter. And here we have another one. This one does support uh, iFinity as well. This one has a DVI, HDMI, and a display port. Now, for more information on iFinity and setting up iFinity with an AMD uh, video card, you can go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. Now, one way to determine which card has what connections, and right here on our boxes, we have all the connections always printed out on the box. So this one has DVI, VGA, and HDMI. You'd immediately know that you're getting which connections you're getting on the card. Now, here on this card, we have two DVI, HDMI, and a display port. So you would know that the card in this box would support iFinity. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hand you to one of our other senior technicians here, Art. He'll go ahead and run through the performance of the card. How's it going everybody? My name is Art. I'm one of the senior technicians here at Diamond Multimedia. And today I'm going to show how easy and simple it is to install one of our video cards in the machine. And today I have a 6770 1GB video card, which requires one 6-pin power connector. All you do is locate a six pin power connector on your power supply, plug it to the back side of the video card itself, and then you locate a free PCI Express X16 slot, and you just go ahead and plug in the card into the machine. As simple as that. Make sure you put in the screws into your motherboard, and set to go from there. Okay, so I'm going to be running the Metro 2033 benchmark right now. We have the settings set to DirectX 11, 1920 by 1080, uh, quality we have it on high, and we have our filter set to 4x each. And we're going to run a three loop benchmark right now. Okay, we're starting off with about 35 frames per second with the card. Keeping a nice 30 frames still throughout the game. And just remember, we're going to be taking the medium score out of these three uh, loops that it goes through. You always want to run a benchmark more than once just to make sure that it doesn't have any hiccups in the first one. Okay, after the three uh, benchmark loops we ran through, the medium uh, frames per second we got was about 31.85 frames, which is not really that bad for a 6770 running at high settings on a, 90, uh, on a resolution of 920 by 1080 with 4x filters. Okay, so now we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play Rage with uh, 4x filters. So we're going to go ahead now and show you what settings we're running this at. Okay, here we go, video. Our resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080, full screen. Uh, looks like no anti-aliasing. We're going to actually turn on the V-Sync. And, okay, this one's Anti-aliasing, I'll just go ahead and put it at two for now. Texture and cache large. And turn on that filter to high. We go down here to accept. So I'm going to keep these changes, and let's see how the 6770 does. Okay, now 
we have fraps running and we're getting a good 50 to 60, well right now we're getting 40s. Now I do believe that uh, Rage does cap out at 60 frames a second, so we're getting we're getting pretty much uh, the maximum frames that we can get with the 6770. So far, crisp, clear, no artifacts, no screen tearing. Now also, we do have the AMD Rage drivers installed. And it looks like those drivers are doing the trick. Here at Diamond, we offer a five-year extended warranty on our video cards and TV tuners if they're registered within the first 30 days. Now, in order to register your video card or TV tuner, you can go to our website, which I have right back here, which is diamondmm.com, going to our support section, then product registration. And then you just simply fill out the information you would see on the page, similar to the one behind me. Now, if you do not register your video card or TV tuner within the first 30 days, you can receive a one one year standard warranty with us. So be sure that as soon as you purchase your video card or TV tuner to register it on our site so you can receive that five year warranty.